Oh, goodness gracious. We've been talking about this all morning. Debbie Sardone's joining us, uh, cleaning industry analyst. And I'm not sure if I'm excited to hear about this or if I'm dreading this and, and going to be awash with guilt. Debbie, things dirtier than a toilet this morning? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Debbie, how are you? Oh, I am doing good, and you're exactly right. The next time you answer your smartphone and press it against your face, consider that it could be dirtier than a public toilet seat. Well, that's super. That's just some super stuff we like to hear this morning. I'm talking to you and grabbing my hand sanitizer at the same time. Now, Debbie, I'm probably uh, uh, one of those people that I'm, I consider myself a borderline germaphobe, though my husband might disagree on the borderline part. But I try to be conscientious and wipe my smartphone down at least once a week, if at the, at the least. But, you know, you think about how much we use our cell phones and the things we're doing and what we're not doing and, and just how many times we're touching that and not washing our hands in between well you're actually doing the cleaning a little more than most people 80 percent of infections come from what we touch yet rarely do people wipe down just common household items like cell phones remote controls you know the bottom of your shoes the bottom of your purse we seem to neglect those even though we wash our hands regularly so five second rule really doesn't help <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. And obviously the best defense against cold and flu, bacteria and germs is washing with warm, running, soapy, you know, warm water and, and soap. That's the best defense. But uh, a little bit of hand sanitizer when you can't get to the sink goes a long way. You know, we were talking earlier this morning, Debbie, and joking about the level of disinfecting one must do, depending on who's got what, you know, sickness in your house. If somebody's got a cold, you, you do your best to wipe everything down, but you get something like strep in your house, you're disinfecting everything on multiple occasions because something like that is, is so contagious. But, you know, no matter what we do, no matter where we are, somebody's going to sneeze near us, somebody's going to touch something around us, you got to hold a handle to get up a, a stairwell, maybe you're going up an escalator or touching an elevator button. There are just germs everywhere. Everywhere. And so other than our cell phone, what should we be aware of? Well, you know, I mentioned the bottom of our shoes. Ugh. There's like 421,000 units of bacteria on the bottom of shoes. I mean, think about it. You walk into a public restroom, then you walk into your house. So some people like the idea of slipping your shoes off, especially if you have toddlers crawling around on the floor. Um, periodically, if you're wearing tennis shoes, you can toss them in the washing machine. Those are some things that people don't even think about. And the bottom of your purse. You set it on the floor of a public restroom. You come home, you plop the purse on the kitchen table. Bad idea. Get in the habit of setting it on the floor. Hey, how much, hey, Debbie Sardone, by the way, joining us on Memphis Morning News. How much of a Petri dish is our local gym? Uh, there's a lot of nasty stuff going on in those gyms. Generally, they have sanitizing wipes for you, and you can wipe down the equipment before you use it. As a courtesy, you should wipe it down after you're finished. Not everybody does. Don't count on that. So use those wipes to wipe down the equipment that you'll be touching. You know, I get tickled sometimes when it sweeps for television. Working out can make you sick. We'll have details coming up. But, yeah, that's a good point. Take advantage of, of what they offer with those spray bottles and those wipes. That seems, I, I guess, that kind of goes with basically the general. Well, we should basically, I guess, keep hand sanitizer and maybe those wet ones wipes around handy with us, I guess. that That's a good first step. Exactly. Keep them closed. Get small containers. Put them in your car or in your purse. And remember, when you go to the grocery store, same idea the grocery store cart, just wipe it down real quick before you use it. You don't know who last used it, who may have been sneezing, coughing into their hands, and then shopping. Let's also talk about our own kitchen. You know, when you come in your house, you there's all kinds of things that we're touching. I try to, to make a point to wipe down the handles on the refrigerator from time to time, also just to make sure, because, you know, everybody walks in the house, and even though I'm screaming, wash your hands before you touch anything, nobody does it, <laughs> and I still have to keep screaming. Yeah. I often hear about the, the sponge at our kitchen sink as being a pretty germy item. They are so gross, and you can even tell they're nasty because of the smell. It's so easy to clean a sponge. You just put it in the microwave, put it on high for one minute, and that hot steam will kill the germs and bacteria. And then just wait till it cools off to pick it up and remove it. <laughs> Small detail. Don't forget that one. Yeah. All right. Don't burn your hand. Uh, uh, any last advice for our folks in Memphis before we send them off to lunch today? Well, 
one last bit of advice, your kitchen sink can be also be as dirty as a toilet. So make sure you disinfect the kitchen sink before you throw some lettuce in it to wash and then eat raw in a salad. Hey, let me ask you this question quickly because I've always been curious. I'm a... I'm an overuser, I think, of those wipes, the Clorox or Lysol wipes or whatever. But sometimes I get the impression from some different uh, websites that those might not do the job they need to for cleaning. Is that going to get rid of the germs and things I need to get rid of, or should I be using some kind of bleach-based cleaner when I'm cleaning my kitchen? Well, when you're cleaning your kitchen, especially trying to kill germs and bacteria, a little bit of bleach and water goes a long way. You don't need a lot. When it comes to your hands, wash your hands with warm soapy water it is the best defense and then those sanitizing gels are really just a backup when you can't get to a sink. and then those sanitizing cleaning wipes are kind of good for in between as well like the ones you clean your counters with maybe not as the, yes. the deep clean but just in between okay all right because you got to have those on hand you know you spill something on the floor much easier to throw one of those wipes on the ground and wipe it up with your foot <laughs> than they to pull are. out the whole mop all right. Hey, Debbie Sardone, thanks for joining us on Memphis Morning News and, and hopefully keeping a lot of us out of the doctor's office in the coming weeks. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right. All right. So that's good <laughs> good advice. But, yeah, it's not a bad idea to clean your phone from time to time. And I don't want to get too graphic here, but, you know, not many people are reading the newspaper everywhere they go anymore. Sometimes you need to set the phone down. Some people take that phone everywhere. Yeah, And I everywhere. find that disturbing. And that's why you need to clean that phone.